First of all a disclaimer, what we're about to talk about isn't for everyone. In fact, if you don't fully know and get what we're saying, don't do it until you do. We are groundbreaking here, we are trying things out, we are getting victories, but disclaimer there, don't try it unless you fully get what we're saying and what we're doing. And with that, an update, over to Kev. Hi, my name's Kevin Mark, you probably saw me last week giving the talk eviction fraud of the banks about gas and electric but before I start I'd, I'd like to give you a picture where I am at the moment with it I'm, I'm with a small group there's probably about five of us in that group but there's, there's four cases going off all coming from different angles um, we know it works mm. um, because they're running around like headless chickens at the moment and they just don't know what to do with us but we're all at different stages in our case and it's all different scenarios that we're in every case is different it's ironic to be honest um, but we're all at the same point we've not progressed any any further four of us but we're at the same point but the key is where we need to be and i reiterated that last week we need to be in county court because when you read statutes and acts i can interpret the act and mark can read the act and, and interpret the act but the only one person that can inter interpret the act correctly is the judge. So it's like Mark said, if it's for the light-hearted people, faint-hearted people, then we urge you not to do it because it means you go to court, it's not a quick fix, you'll have to go, to, may have to go to court, you'll have them banging on your door, you'll get the threat letters and it'll just keep going and then you just give in and then a lot of people just say it didn't work for me and, and then pay. And the problem with that is, if you try and then give up, you make it weaker for all those that are going to see it through to the end. So if you don't think you've got the cojones yet, wait, let us do a bit more trailblazing, because as soon as we crack it, you'll all know, and we hope you'll all do it and uh, have the same results. And I can assure you that there's people fighting it behind the scenes in little groups spotted around the UK, and we're getting there. And we're not legally trained, but um, they just don't know what to do with us, do they? No. I haven't got a clue. Um, the information that I've been asking, they're not giving me the information. What I'm asking, they, they twist it and try and bluff you, fool you that you have to pay it, and what you're doing is wrong. Well, this this does, does, yeah. doesn't just go for that. It goes for the debt collection scene, everything. Yeah. They will pretend to answer your question, but what they actually do is they get to the actual nooks, cooks of the question, and they'll skirt round it and they'll pretend they've answered it. This goes for it all, though. But yeah. Anyway, before we start. Um, I found this quite amusing. I went, I went to my bank yesterday, yeah. and um, because I've done the direct debit indemnity clawback, and I've put an account in dispute with an energy company, I just wanted to cover all my bases. Mm -hmm. um, that I take it you, you didn't actually do the clawback yesterday. No, I did the clawback over a month ago. Okay. Oh, so it's, it's clear. If they haven't challenged, it's clear. Yeah. yeah. They, they okay. were given two weeks to come at me, which they didn't, and then two weeks to go to the bank, and they didn't show proof of claim to the bank. But, so I could cover all my bases and cross the cross the T's and dot, dot the I's. I went down to my local bank and I asked for a letter um, that I'd follow correct procedure for the direct debit indemnity clawback. And uh, the guy was all there in a nice suit and he said, have you paid for it? I says, well, yeah, I've paid for it lawfully under the bills of exchange as a negotiable instrument. Do you know what he said? I've got a feeling you probably didn't have a clue what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, he says, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is true, this is. He says, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand. And I, I said to him, I, quite, I find it quite amazing that you're in the banking sector and you do not know what a bill of exchange is. I asked him what a promissory note was. He vaguely had a clue what a promissory note was. And I said, well, you should know because your bank and every bank and corporate business within the UK are issuing promissory notes because that's how commerce works. This country is living off credit, drawing fictitious figures out of thin air. I mean, we're bankrupt already exactly. as, a, as a nation. And that's why we have to live off, it's not so much credit, it's yeah, debt. It's we debt. have to live off that because we're bankrupt. However, under the bankruptcy terms, um, every seven years, your debts are supposed to be wiped out. But they don't follow the rules and regulations, they just decide to keep handing us. Yeah.
Get Out of Debt Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.